Hi, I'm Kate O'Neill and I'm Scholarly Communications Librarian here at the University of Sheffield. Um, my role mainly involves managing our repository, White Rose Research Online, but alongside that I also do advocacy, answering inquiries, helping to um, monitor the Gold Open Access Fund and supporting REF Open Access compliance, which is a huge uh, issue right now. However, the main thing that my role is really about is supporting our academics in engaging with open access and actually helping them have dialogue and decide what they want to do and create the change. The two main skills that I think are really needed to do this role properly are good communication skills and network building. So what we do here at Sheffield is we have a very small scholarly communications team but the reason why that works is we work really closely in partnership with other teams within the library and elsewhere so all the processing of everything that goes in the repository is done by our metadata staff. Our finance team help produce the UKRI report detailing our expenditure on gold open access. Um, when there's training and advocacy to be done, a lot of it can be done by our liaison librarians and our faculty engagement team. We also work really closely with departmental administrators so that if there are simple queries within departments, they can actually be the first line of answering those, which again frees up our time to be more focused on actually the less day-to-day -day aspects and really trying to engage and create a culture of change. So building of these other networks and working with other teams, it did take time to achieve and it wasn't an overnight thing. It took perseverance, it took good communication skills, we had to be very clear about what we were trying to do, how we would support and what we needed in return. But the payoff has been immense and so actually spending the time to network and to create communities of practice and support have been incredibly useful. The other skills that I think have been particularly useful are time management. It's very easy within an area like scholarly communications to spend all your time being reactive and queries come in all the time. People are panicking and stressed about things and you can spend the whole day dealing with just queries and people concerns. However, to actually spend the time to focus on being proactive, so whether that's looking at new tools and systems that may help our academics, whether it's about saying I need to take some responsibility for my own uh, CPD and learn some new skills, that's really important. When I started in my role I knew very little about systems, very little, but I took the time. I found experts to help me, I found courses online and I learnt and it's been an amazing thing to actually find myself growing in my knowledge but I did have to be proactive in finding that time. The best thing about my role is feeling that I'm doing something important so even though I will probably never directly know about a single article or book chapter that's had an impact on someone making it openly available by working with our academics to enthuse them about open access and helping provide services such as the repository it's a really great feeling to know that I'm helping to create a new way of communicating and I think it's just an incredibly, incredibly rewarding area to work in.